is your Echo Speaks up to date? I'm going to show you how to make sure that your Echo Speaks is always up to date. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check the video description for all of the steps to get that done. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how to get notifications of when your Echo Speaks needs updates and also how to update Echo Speaks so you always have the latest version with all of the fixes and improvements. The first thing you want to do is go over to your automation tab at the bottom. And once on your automation tab, you want to go to smart apps. Once on your smart apps tab, you want to go to your echo speaks that you've previously installed. And if you haven't installed that, I'll leave a link to that in the video description on how to get that all set up. You go into echo speaks. And you can see that my Echo Speaks is currently not up to date. The current version is up here at the very top, and the latest version is here in red. Now, what you want to be sure that you have turned on, you want to go down to the notification section, tap on that section, and you want to make sure that you have send push notifications turned to on. There's also a bunch of other options, but push notifications are usually the best. And you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says send for updates and have that toggled on. I also set my reminder um, 24 hours, so that way it will remind me every 24 hours that it's not up to date and I need to update it. So once you have that done, I'm going to click done at the top. And now if I swipe down, you can see that um, I did get a notification yesterday at 8.14. I'm probably actually going to get one um, today in a few minutes. But we're going to go ahead and update that so we don't get those notifications anymore and we have the most recent version. We want to go back to our smart things, go back to our automation, and we want to find the ST Community Installer. So you should have installed your Echo Speaks using the ST Community Installer. So if I tap on that, and I go to the bottom and tap Installer Home, that's going to take me to the Installer Home where we just need to sign in with our Samsung account. And once you're logged in, it's going to start loading in all of the apps that are in the Community Installer. And what we need to do is go down in our list and find Echo Speaks. And you can see that it says updates in orange in the upper right hand corner. So we're just going to tap on that. And we just need to go all the way to the bottom and click update. And it says update process complete. So now we just need to hit done in the upper right hand corner and click save and now when we come back out when we go over to echo speaks it's automatically um, went to the release notes here so it looks like um, it's going to tell us what's changed in the new version we're going to go ahead and hit next in the upper right hand corner all right now you can see it's still in red. If you just updated the code, please press done slash save to let the app process the changes. So in the upper right hand corner, all you need to do is hit save. That's going to take you back out to your smart apps. Now, if we go back into Echo Speaks, there's the actual notification that there's a needed update because it was 24 hours from my last notification. So let's hit next on this. And now you can see, now it looks completely different and it says no issues to report. 
and that means that you have the latest version. Go ahead and just hit save. And now your Echo Speaks is updated to the latest version. And that's all you need to do is basically just go into your community installer, tap on the Echo Speaks, click on the update, and then come into your Echo Speaks and hit save. And then now you are updated and you won't get any more notifications until the next update is available. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or any issues, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.